Thank you so much for staying with us and we head to the court now for some tennis action. The Davis Cup America's Group 4 tournament served off on Monday at the National Racquet Center in Trinidad and Tobago. The action is being live streamed on Sportsmax's YouTube and our Sportsmax app. The tournament, which is considered the World Cup of Tennis, will feature nine countries from the America's Zone Group 4. These countries, Bermuda, Honduras, Antigua and the Barbuda, Haiti, Cuba, U.S. Virgin Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, Aruba and Nicaragua will be vying for the opportunity to earn promotion to Group 3 of the competition for next year's staging of the tournament. Well, Head of Coaching and Development for the Tennis Association of Trinidad and Tobago, Kyle Hannes, joins us now to tell us about the latest happenings for the tournament. Good afternoon, Kyle. Pleasant afternoon. And how are you? I'm doing fine. It's a pleasure also to be interviewing you on the Sports Max Zone. How has the Davis Cup competition been going in Trinidad and Tobago? It has been a lot of action, a lot of competition, great talent from the various countries. All nine countries, as you previously spoke about, are vying for two spots into the Group 3. You know, Davis Cup is a prestigious event. It's the World Cup of Tennis, as we refer to it. It's actually run and facilitated by the International Tennis Federation. And all these countries are actually vying for the opportunity to reach the Group 1, where they will face off with the bigger countries, the like of the Roger Federer and Spain, where they will compete against the likes of Nadal, etc. But for the time being, we are in Group 4. Competition has been stiff. Uh, they are excited. The atmosphere is, is ecstatic. We had one of the best facilities, and the only facility, may I add, just being a little biased here, um, <laughs> in terms of uh, eight outdoor courts and four indoor courts, state-of-the-art facility here in Trinidad and Tobago. So it's a lot of competition, and the atmosphere is really, really nice. I can definitely attest to the facilities because I've been at the National Racquet Center in Trinidad, Takarigua to be exact. And there really are, you know, there's been a lot of upgrades and really good facilities for the competition. So I'm going to move across now because Trinidad and Tobago being the host country, a lot of pressure on our athletes are not the best showing that we would have expected. What did you make of TNT's performance so far? You're, you're quite right. Not the best start uh, Team Trinidad and Tobago would have been looking for our first match against Aruba. A lot of competition started off well um, in the first set, the first match as a matter of fact. Now, just to put some perspective, this event is a, is a group event where you play three matches, two singles matches and one doubles. So Trinidad started against Aruba playing well. Our number two player, Joseph Cadogan, starting off three sets but was just edged by the younger Aruba and a 21-year-old actually playing um, Division I tennis in the U.S. So he, had, he came into the tournament with a lot more match fitness and was ready there. Then we were actually, we started off well in the second, in the second singles match with Ibulum Wokolo, the number one player, taking the first set 6-4 and just could not capitalize and lost the second and third set 6-2, uh, 6-2. Uh, notwithstanding, we went into the doubles and the match again, they competed well, but just could not convert and we lost that first tie, 3-0 to Aruba. However, in our second encounter, again against Cuba, one of the top teams in the competition, we started well as, uh, of, uh, of course, Joseph Cadogan again playing the number two. We had the match, winning the first set and just getting a little injury in the second set, lost the second set 7-5 and unfortunately had to retire hurt. Uh, in the singles, though, the second singles, uh, Wokolo and Kolo, Wokolo, he just had, uh, was outplayed a bit by the number one from Cuba. And we actually put up a great fight in the doubles and we lost in three sets. Nail biting, the scores 3-0 did not reflect the, the, the competitiveness demonstrated by the Trinidad and Tobago team. Yeah. Okay, th that being said, you know, which are, which are the top teams right now in terms of the, the first couple of rounds of competition? Which teams are, are ahead? So at this point in time, we have Bermuda. It's actually the, the teams, as you all mentioned, nine teams are vying for two spots. They were separated into two groups. So we have Group A and Group P and Group B. Uh, Bermuda is actually running the show at this point in time in the Group A, and they are, they are closely followed by Honduras in Group A. Uh, in, the, in Group B, we have... Cuba, 
Of course, Cuba is there and Aruba. The two teams that Trinidad would have lost to, they are actually on top at this point in time. Cuba definitely being a, a, a favorite and Bermuda looking very strong at this point in time. Yeah, of course, you know, we will continue to uh, look at the competition. It has been really, um, really exciting action as you spoke to us about. And, you know, Trinidad and Tobago will be hoping that they can improve. A bit unfortunate that the ace player had to pick up an injury. How is he doing now? He is recovering now. Uh, today, fortunately enough, today's a rest day for Trinidad and Tobago. And we saw him by the physio doing some therapy. It seems to be something along the lower extremity in terms of the leg. So he was actually doing some therapy there with the physio. Uh, I didn't get an actual update today in terms of how it felt. They would have done a session later on this afternoon. So I'm waiting on some feedback to see how that would affect tomorrow's lineup. Well, Kyle, we want to wish you all the best. And of course, we hope you have a really good Davis Cup competition. And we'll remind the viewers that they can catch all the action, of course, on our Sportsmax YouTube page and our app. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Kyle Haney is there. He is the head of coaching and development for the Tennis Association of Trinidad and Tobago. And just remember, download the app and catch up with all your tennis action. You don't want to miss it.